Hey everyone, how's it going? So I wanted to show you this mini album that I made using the From My Kitchen cartridge and also the Nana's Kitchen Paper Stack from DCWV. Uh, so before I show you this mini album, I'll go ahead and show you some of the images from uh, this stack, so or this cartridge. So it has a lot of cute classic images from about the 40s or 50s. And then it has all these functions. You got the layers, the shadow, toast or not toast uh, words and the ovals and then it also has a tab function and the cool thing about the tab function I actually didn't know this was on the cartridge but they have these um, cutouts but they also have these ones so you can put on like your mini albums and use them instead of a punch for to for your pullouts on your mini album inserts so I thought that was pretty cool another use for that cartridge and then I've been really lucky Joann's have been having a sale on a lot of their um, paper and punches and all that and so my husband's been spoiling me and he got me a few things so um, this one in particular was six dollars it has a lot of beautiful classic papers with very very pretty colors not too bright and so anyways I'll go ahead and show you the mini album so this mini album I believe is seven and a half by five and a half and so um, I decorated the front of course with my homemade flowers and then all the cuts are from the from the kitchen cartridge so here's the spine you turn it around all right so we'll go ahead and show you so first and foremost my family is big coffee drinker so I wanted to put that in the first page um, and I also, all of these images have uh, liquid pearls on them. Let me see if I can get a close up. Liquid pearls on them as some of their accents. So when you open it up, uh, there's some journaling on the spot and then just a big spot for photos. And then I got another uh, lace punch that my husband had bought me and I just used it all around and I thought it fit well with the kind of delicate theme of this paper. And then got the little oven with another little journaling spot. And then for this page, I just did a little flip up. And then I just made a little tag using my envelope punch board, which in theory I probably could have used the cartridge with my gypsy and stretched out the tab. But anyways, so here's the back of that. And then you just put that in there. Again, that's blank. And then kind of keeping with the recipe tab punch, um, or the recipe tabs. I uh, used it on some of my pullouts. So here's one of the tags with some journaling on the back. Just slides in there. And then just another photo mat blank on the back side. And so I tried to use images and words that relate to like, um, you know, family time and meals and whatnot. So here is another photo mat. And then it says, and they smiled all day long. Then up here you got another blank spot for photos. And then this page was actually kind of cool because I wanted the plate over here and the words and then the forks and spoons over here with the little um, kind of picnic background, I guess you would say. And then when you open it up, there's a spot for photos. And then we got some journaling spot right there. All right, for this one, again, I used the punch around the page border. And then um, this little... I think this little apron is so cute. So there it is. And my mom, she actually loves aprons. Like she makes them for people. She makes them for herself. So here are some more tags. And yeah, she's really, really handy. And with Mother's Day coming up, you know, she has so many albums. It's so hard to figure out what to get her now that I have to make personally. So I think I'm just going to try and make her a pair of earrings. So anyways for this page again you got to punch around the page photo mat and then we got a little pot holder right here it's so cute and then when you open it up here is actually a long tag with just the word love in the back just slides in there and then just a spot for photos and then on the back page, I put a rolling pin, um, not because my family bakes a lot, but they actually make tortillas a lot. So, and they didn't have a tortilla, <laughs> a tortilla oval word. So I had to use the word chef. And then we got a spot for photos. And of course, these um, lift away. So that way, if you wanted to slide a photo underneath them, you can. And then we got the photo journaling area. 
And that's it. And the album is six pages long using the um, Laura Follow the Paper Trail uh, binding method. I do have a video on it and I'll send a, I'll put a link on the bottom of the uh, description so you can see. But anyways, I hope you guys like it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks. Bye.